Yo people, it is IJV for X, and this will be a what if uh, Deku actually ate the dragon dragon fruit. Um, sorry for no, not posting for uh, some time, I guess. I believe like three days. Um, yeah, sorry for that. Um, I guess I was just lazy. Didn't really feel like making videos, but yeah. Um, now, okay, let's just start right now. Okay, so um, we start off when uh, uh he's four years old. He is uh, going to the court doctor, and um, yeah. Um, in this one, uh, sadly. Um, Inko isn't that nice of a person. Yep, my bad. If you like Inko, bro, my bad. Um, just for the sake of the story. Um, so yeah. Now, um, Izuku goes to the quirk doctor. Um, he finds out that he's quirkless. And uh, Inko abandons him. Just like that. That simple. Okay. Okay, so if I interruption, like I said, um they went to the court doctor, Inko abandoned him. Basically uh, threw him in the forest. So um now we go to Izuku. He's uh crying. And uh, he's pretty sad, you know. He knows what's going on at a young age, you know. He knows he has been abandoned by uh, his own mother. And, you know, he's really angry, you know, but he calms down. Now, he goes into a cave and um, he sees um, a book, actually. A book with a dragon on it. And uh, the title was Uo um, Devil Fruit. So basically, he took it. And yes, he's pretty smart. So he took it. And he read it. And uh, he it basically said um, to whoever sees this book. You are a very lucky person, and you are worthy of eating my devil fruit. I am Kaido of the Beast Pirates. I was known as the strongest creature to have ever lived on Earth. If you read this, this will be information about my devil fruit and how to use it. I will appear as a hologram to uh, help you master my power. And basically it ends here. So, um, Deku basically finds the fruit, um, uh, right beside the book in a chest. Now, uh, he eats it, and, um, you know, he feels different, you know, and, and I said, there's always the fruit there, um, words dragon, dragon, you know, always in his head. And, uh, he just, uh, has a tear falling because he never thought that would be that would be real, you know. Basically, he reads the book more and more, and he gets at the end of it, and there's a button, a button, and he presses it, and the button, there's a basically, Kaido appears and has a hologram, and uh, he says, "This is a recording. You will not be able to chat with me." This is only to train you. Now, let's start. And uh, basically, Izuku has done some extremely, and I mean extremely rough training uh, for the past uh, few years. Now, uh, he's, 60, he's 15, and uh, he's pretty buff. Um, he looks basically like, like young Kaido. Um, I'm going to show you. Basically, uh, he looks uh, like this here, 
um, just remove the mustache and I make the hair green yeah okay. yeah you just saw that Izuku looks like this and he has the fit basically some jeans and a green shirt <coughs> so um, basically he takes the book with him in a pocket I guess and he has the mace actually he put it in his back and it's pretty huge honestly mm, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna just look up the height of Kaido real quick I'm sorry so I just searched up apparently Kaido is seven meters and uh, yep I literally he's just seven meters so Izuku is gonna be a six. Yep. No six. Oh my god, six meters is actually a lot, bro. I just realized that, bro. No, 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 that's too much, bro. So he's gonna be a four meters. Four meters seems reasonable. Yep, seems reasonable. So he's gonna be six meter, uh, four meters. Sorry. Um. Now, yeah, I'm sorry for that. So he's four meters, and now he has um the big of Kaido. He still has the tattoo, the tattoo, the arm, wrist things, and uh, yeah. So um basically, and yes, he has the cape. So he goes out in the city, and um, basically he hears a commotion, you know, and um, he's in really in a good mood, you know. So uh, he just walks towards the commotion, and he's uh, really tall. People hear footsteps, you know, and they just see Deku and uh. They make way because they think he's a hero. And then uh, Izuki just asks a random person, uh, Hello, sir. And uh, the person looks at him and uh, and all, you know. And uh, the person says, y y Yes, sir. And uh, Izuki asks, So, what is the situation here? And um, the person that uh, the person just says, uh, Oh, well, sir, um, the heroes can't really do anything, and they're waiting for somebody with a good quirk to um, help save the kid in there. Sorry about that, just got interrupted, people. Um, now, basically, uh, when Izuku hears this, he's pretty mad actually because the heroes are not doing anything even though they should be you know laying their lives for civilians and he basically walks towards where the sludge villain is and the heroes look at him and uh, they try to stop him but izuku just looks glares at them you know and they back off now basically izuku is uh towering in front of the sludge villain the sludge villain looks at him and uh he starts sweating profusely and uh, he, he starts stuttering and he's like, who, 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 who are you and, and what do you want? And uh, Izuku is like, well, I want you to release this young man here or else I'll have to use uh, force. And uh, he points at uh, the mace behind his back and the slot is just trembling and he releases Bakuko and um. He, uh, Deku's like, well, we cannot have you escape and try to kill another kid, won't, uh, would we? Now, how about you give yourself up to the heroes, huh? And, um, the servant had nods and he just gives himself up because he doesn't want smoke. Now, basically, Bakugo, he's about to say something, but Izuku just jumps away like, there's a creator, and he just jumps away really far, bro. And people are amazed, you know? Yeah. 
Now Izuku is back in the forest, cause yeah, he's basically had a connection with the forest, so yeah. And he's just chilling, you know. And he heard, heard about the Antrix exam. I you know he was pretty excited because it was always his dream to become a hero, you know. Ever since childhood, so just wanted to continue pursuing this dream of his. Um, yeah. Now, uh, we're gonna time scroll. Time skip to the entry. Is that Izuku just walking around the city? And then he finally reaches the entrance exam site. Uh, he goes into the room and uh, he sits down uh, at the back, at the very back. Now, um, basically, President Mike explains the uh, written exams and yeah. Uh, Lita, he tries to do, no, he does a speech, and he was about to say something to Izuku, but Izuku, he just looked at him menacingly, and Lita just shut up, and they continued. Read an exam, I'm gonna skip that, because it's really boring, just so I know that uh, Izuku did decently well, pretty well, actually, and, um... Uh, just so that you know, Izuku Nate changed his name to a uh, um, Izuku D Kaido. Yep, yep, Izuku Kaido. It looks, it sounds not really nice, but Izuku Kaido. Yep, Izuku Kaido. Okay, sorry for the interruption, people. So, um, like uh, yeah, I yeah was saying, basically, um, he was. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Yes, President Mike explained everything. Lita did the same thing, but honestly, yes, Izuku got a decent score. So now the physical exam. People think Izuku's work is basically giant that allows him to grow in size <sighs> but it's not it's not really not at all now basically present mike he says go and Izuki just rushes and he takes his mace and a purple lightning starts to surround him and he just runs super fast and collapse robots and uh, after getting about two three hundred points he stops, and he just chills in the building, you know. And uh, Mr. Aizawa and people in the observation room, they're shocked at how powerful Deku is, you know. Because they've never seen a suit that powerful. And, uh, you know, they're shocked. Then, uh... Basically, Aizawa, he's like, Nezu. Uh, would you mind zooming in on that kid, the tall one, the really tall one? And as he just does so, and then they just see Zuku, you know, sitting in the building, just chilling, you know. And uh, Nezu is like, hmm, interesting kid. I'll see how many points he has. And uh, then uh, he just looks at, at Izuku's points, and uh, he's shopping, he's like, uh, he. he he has 300 points. He has even surpassed, surpassed All Might. What a, what a special student. And um, people are shocked at that fact. So yeah. Um, now um, oh my God. Now um. Nezu is like Name Izuku Kaido Age 15 Quirk Uh Azure Dragon No Emerald Dragon And um People they're shocked they're like 
So, so you mean he hasn't even used the squirt yet? What the hell is he? And, uh, you know, they're shocked. A lot. Really, really a lot. And uh, in, 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 Aizawa, he's like, Well, Nezu, time to release the zero pointer and test this kid. And uh, they release, uh, Nezu not, and they release five zero pointers. And people, they run, and I mean run for their lives, you know. And uh, Izuki wakes up at that commotion, and uh, he asks uh, one of the running persons what happened, and the person tells him, uh, points out the zero pointers, and Izuki smiles and uh, thinks to himself, hmm, finally, a challenge. And uh, he basically goes there, and he, he, but he hears a scream, you know, and he rushes at the scream. And uh, he finds, uh, basically, a... Uh, a person trapped under that rubble and um, he basically picks that person up rushes it to the front and uh, this he sees that the zero pointer is still marching you know he just jumps in front of them you know and all the students are looking at him in awe you know and uh, uh, basically he just gets surrounded by a cloud of uh, thunder thunder clouds and uh, there was just uh, purple lightning going around it. And uh, they just see that a giant green dragon right in front of them. And basically, he does uh, the blast breath uh, as Kaido does. And um, he basically obliterates completely the zero pointers. Like, they're goners right now. No cap, bro. Now, everyone is absolutely shocked by the destruction. Because there's a huge crater. And I mean a huge, huge... Uh, half of the city is gone. Gone completely, bro. So, uh, yeah. And the, the city is already changing like crazy, you know? And Izuku de-transformed and uh, basically uh, he just, he just uh, waved and he just... He jumped and went away. So yeah, that's for the entrance exam. Now uh, Izuku, he's chilling in, in his uh, in the forest, and uh, basically, you know, when he's sleeping, you know, he wakes up the next day, and he's a box. Um, the bye bye. That is two weeks later. So he sees a box, and he opens it, and he just sees the new letter, and the hologram appears, and he says, it's basically all my telling him that he passed the entry exam. And Izuki is really happy, you know, but he doesn't really react to all my goods. He's not really a fan of him no more. He's more mature for his age, you could say. So, yeah. Now, Izuku, you know, he just doesn't wear the uniform because it's way, and I mean way too small, bro. Actually, it's just way too small. Um, so, he just goes to you like that in his uh, clothing that I told you earlier. Yep, he just goes there. And... You know, people are looking at him, you know, because they, they think that he's probably a teacher or something or a new hero because they don't really think he's a student because, you know, he's huge, actually, bro. And he looks massive. So, yeah. Now, he goes, uh, finds class 1A, and he just uh, goes in there, and everyone there looks at him, you know. Because they saw what he did, and uh, they basically, you know, surprised, you know. They have shock on their faces, but they, they try to get, stay calm, you know. And Izuku just sees a giant seed just made for him, and he just sits there. And he just, uh, yeah, just waits. Now, a few minutes uh, later, Aizawa, <sighs> he wakes up, and... He uh, sees the students are silent because uh, 
of uh, Izuku. Now, uh, you look at Izuku and uh, he's uh, happy to have him in his class, actually. Yeah, it's surprising, huh? And basically, uh, he says, uh, My name is uh, my name is Shota Izawa. I will be your teacher for the next three years that you will be spending to become a hero. I only see potential in one of you people, and that person is the giant over there. And Izuki is a little embarrassed by that. And uh, Izai continues in there. He's like, well, we don't have time to waste. So just um, take these PE uniforms, put them on without questions, and go. And uh, the class was about to retaliate, but Izuku just stands up and uh, he whispers to Aizawa um, that uh, all the the P the uniforms are basically too uh, big for him, uh, too sm too small for him. Uh, sorry. And uh, Aizawa tells him that he can just uh, go on in his casual outfit, and uh, Izuku and Arden, he just goes, and then basically the the class does the same, and yeah. They're taking pretty long, so, yeah. Aizawa and Izuku, they're just waiting, talking a little, then the class arrives. And Aizawa uh, scolds them about being late. And uh, he explains the ball throw. And, um, basically he tells Izuku uh, to, uh, uh, hit the ball using his quirk. And, uh, basically Izuku, he nods, and, uh, he basically takes, uh, transforms into his, uh, I believe hybrid form. Um, and he takes his mat, um, mat, mace. He, um, there's just, uh, it turns black and there's purple lighting surrounding it. And he just smacks the ball with it. And it's, it's sent flying, bro. And as always just says, infinity. And all the class are absolutely shocked. Well, first of all, the shockwave of that, like, yeah, it was, it was, it was huge. Honestly, bro, it was huge. And uh, also, um, just the fact that he got infinity, you know, it's just surprising, you know. And uh, they continue on for uh, a while, actually. And Izuku first place in them. everything they did, even speed, you know. They did all the tests, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that. Now, Izuki just at his home again. Just chilling, you know. Um, Until he hears a scream. And yes, he has observation hockey on at all times. Because he's not going to be uh, surprised by an enemy. So he hears that. And he goes... To where he, he heard the sound. <laughs> and he sees a girl about to be uh, forced to uh, bedtime. And he looks angry, you know. And he just smacks both of the people that are about to uh, give her some forced bedtime sparring. He basically smacks them badly. They're injured, but they're not dead. And that person will be... I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Let me just... That person will actually be Nico Robin. Yes. A younger version of Nico Robin. Why? Because I just didn't think of any other person. The Yamato would have been weird. Smoothie too. So just Nick Robin, okay? And um He's gonna be a little taller so that she doesn't look ridiculous next to Izuku. Gonna be half his size, reasonable. Um so yeah. Now basically uh, Nico um Robin thanks Izuku for saving her. And Izuku is like, oh, that's fine. And he asks uh, if she has any anywhere to live. And she nods no. And uh, he's like, well, you can come to my uh, to my house in the forest. 
it's not really much but it's better than nothing i could even build a better one for you if you wanted to and she knows and they just go um basically uh robin sees where izuku lives and uh, he's like and she's like uh, don't you have parents and uh, uh sir and izuku just says call me izuku and no i don't have one uh, parents my mother abandoned me when i was four and uh nico you know uh, robin she feels sorry for izuku and she hugs him suddenly you know and uh izuku he cries you know even though he's trying to hold back the tears he cries you know and then uh, he stops and he's like thank you i needed that and uh, she's like no problem uh, no problem and they smile each other you know and uh Basically, Izuku just goes chops up wood. Nico helps him with uh, her devil fruit. Yeah, she still has it. Flower, flower fruit. Allows her to grow limbs out of the ground, thin air. I believe she they have to come from the ground or something. She can just pop them out of the air. Yeah. Basically, can spawn limbs. She helps him carry the wood. And they do that, they make a house, pretty decent wood house. And they both live in it. Yes, it is huge, actually. <laughs> I said small, but I said decent, but it's huge, actually, bro. And, um, the time skip a month, and uh, Nico and uh, uh, Robin and uh, Izuku, they have, they've started catching feelings for each other, you know? And uh, one faithful day, Izuku, uh, he he wake woke up and uh, she is uh, she look he looked into uh, Robin's eyes and she looked into his, and uh, he just leaned in and she did, did the same and uh, they kissed. Yep, for a minute, a minute. Yeah, that's reasonable. And uh, yeah, they became official now. So uh, now that that's done, you go to Izuku um, at UA. He still has his casual outfit because he said to you that he doesn't really need a uniform. It's gonna be a waste of money. So yeah, they haven't done anything. Basically, as over him, he teaches his class, and he's like. Um, well, your next teach, uh, well, your next teacher is gonna be a really surprising teacher for uh, most of you. And, uh, all the class looks at each other and they're like, hmm, somebody who could surprise us, huh? Wonder who it is. And uh, Izuku here, he, he, uh, knows who it is because observation hockey all the time. He has mastered it, by the way, so yeah. And he just knows it's all my and uh, he's pretty excited, no cap. Pretty excited, but not too much. And yeah. Now um All my he uh, busts through the door and he says, Ah oh, I am here. Walking through the door like a normal person. And uh Izuku in his head, he's like, hmm, that was that wasn't that wasn't really a normal entrance, was it, All Might? And he just sighs. And All Might, he explains that they're going to do a battle, I believe, 2v2s. And um, basically, that they should go change into their hero outfits. And um, Deku, um, he wears uh, Kaido's. Um, um, attire that you can see here. Yep, all of it. And yep. Yeah. Uh, he just uh, comes out, and uh, all the girls just staring at uh, his build. You know, his uh, massive build, and the boys are just in awe. Actually, bro, they admired him, but now they're more in awe. You know. Of the build that he has. Oh my, you know, he's, 
<laughs> really impressed too, no cap. And uh, he's like, wow, uh, young Kaido. Nice hero costume. And uh, Yuzuki's like, hmm, thanks, All Might. And uh, All Might basically explains the 2v2 battles. Izuku gets paired up with um, <clears throat> Mineta actually. And Izuku's like, so Mineta, before we start, I want to know why exactly are you a pervert? And uh, Mineta looks down in shame and he's like, oh, oh, well, um, it's, it's, it's an after it's a effect of, of my quirk. And I don't really like it. I try to control it, but I just can't. And Izuku, you know, he just looks a little saddened, you know? Because he kind of feels bad. And then he's like, well, look. After this, no, no, I'm going to tell you something that you have to do. Just focus on one objective. If you don't have any objective, then you will give it into temptation. So what I want you to do, whenever you think of doing that, Think of not doing it. Think I shall not succumb to the after effect of my quirk. And uh, Mena is motivated, and uh, Izuku is like, So, what I'm gonna do is run electricity to your boss, and uh, I'll just see if, if maybe your boss can absorb elements. I could help you with that. And uh, Mena, he, he nods, and uh, basically, Izuku does that, and it works. And uh, he's like, Oh, looks like it works. So I'm gonna give you uh, an eternal lightning bolt in one of your balls, and you can uh, connect it to your other balls, so that you can use lightning with your sticky balls. And uh, Mineta, you know, he uh, cries tears of joy, and uh, he um, he thanks Izuku, and Izuku is like, now let's focus on the battle, and Mineta nods. Um, they're against Bakugo and uh, Lita, like he can. And basically, um, uh, Deku one shots Bakugo because, like, what is Bakugo gonna do? So he one shots him, and he sees that Mineta is already, you know, um, has already got a handle of his, his new powers because he kind of enhanced himself off that purple lightning and he, Izuku smiles you know that yeah he has transformed another boy you know uh, he has a man up a man child yeah I don't know if that's a, a sentence but it is okay he manned up a man child he's pretty really happy at that um, so yeah, basically Minena he uh, runs the squiggly because uh, he can unstick, he can he basically can bounce on the ball, so he just bounces on them super fast, but super silently too. So yeah, and um, he reaches the place where Lita is. He throws um, a ball. In front of Lita and behind him, and he just snaps his fingers, and an electric current just knocks the flip out of Lita, and he just touches the ball, at uh, the bomb actually, and the people are p pretty shocked that Mineta, the pervert, had such power, you know, and uh, they all think of how Izuku talked to him before, and. Especially the voice. It's more of the voice than anything else. They think now how you know manly they could be if they train with Kaido or well, Izuku. So yeah. Now after that, you know, they do their other bottles, which is pretty useless, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah. So, hmm, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue. Um, so, Izuku goes home. He meets his girlfriend, 
and he hugs her, you know. And yes, how he gets food, he um hunts, and he knows. Uh, I mean, uh, Robin knows how to cook very well, so they basically live on their own. He doesn't really need a job because he could get a job, but he doesn't really need one. He just hunts a lot. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, next day, it's actually a weekend, sorry for the interruption, so, um, basically, yeah, they live off that, next day, weekend, he walks around the city, and he goes in the mall, and he coincidentally, stri- I strictly say coincidentally, meets the boys of class 1a they were all shopping you know because yep why not and they saw izuku you know just walking around and uh they were you know surprised that izuku himself walk around a mere mall like that <laughs> so yeah and they go to him and uh, they are bowing uh, they're like uh, Izuku, and uh, we would like you to train us, and um, they'll accept Mineta because he can already got, yeah. Um, Izuku he agrees because he doesn't like to be around weaklings. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Sorry. He agrees and uh, he basically tells them to follow him. And uh, he, Mineta is about to go away because he already has strange. And, uh, but he's like, Mineta, you will come with me too. We need to increase the height of yours and your muscles too. And Mineta, he nods and he just follows. And uh, they all go to the forest. Izuki just quick. Now he calls uh, Robin actually. And uh, she uh, comes in quickly, and uh, she uh, she kisses him quickly, and uh, she's like, "Dear, what's happening? And who are these?" And uh, Izuka basically explains how uh, they want training and all, and she understands, and they basically build uh, weights and all of that like quickly out of wood, you know, they do that quickly, quickly, basically a gym outdoors in the woods made of wood. And uh, Izuku, he's like, ah, you can go home. I, you can go home if you want. And uh, she's like, no, I'd like to see how you train them. And uh, Izuku, he's like, okay, dear. And he kisses her uh, quickly again. And uh, yeah, they just go. She just sits down and uh, watches them train. And the boys, they didn't say nothing because they're not even surprised Izuku got a girlfriend. Like, actually, bro, they're not even surprised, honestly. And uh, Izuku's like, well, time to start your house training. And yes, they all called their parents before, so they got approval. Somehow. And uh, basically, Kirishima, um, he has been hit by uh, Izuku for an hour straight and his defense has increased massively and he learned he can uh, basically uh, choose how never mind basically he just discovered his claws are super sharp well his hands are super sharp so you can claw people and um, Kaminari Basically, he has learned how to fully control his lightning. And... I kind of forgot. A lot of people were in... Lida. 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 Um, he uh, has been running uh, and did a lot of uh, um, leg training. So his legs are like mad, mad, mad evolved. But they're all compacted, you know. He had gotten mad muscles in his legs. So he basically upgraded his score too. As for um, 
Bakugo. He um his exp- um basically uh Izuku just um put a thunder cloud no a ball yes a ball of heat um uh on his head and he somehow made Bakugo control and awaken another quirk which basically allows him to sweat a lot and it really helps Bakugo actually so yeah and um who else Sero um basically he makes Sero shoot tape non-stop and the tape is started changing material basically he can change the material of the tape can be metal and you know can also control it for uh, why it's made out midair you know how a luffy does um his uh, gear fourth uh the python thing how he can you know the culverin yeah the culverin how he just changes direction no mid chasing yeah sarah can do that too and he can try, uh, yeah, make his, his tape sharp now as for uh the dude bro with uh a lot of arms limbs basically he just did a lot of muscle training so he's kind of superhuman strength and as for the dude who can call animals i think yeah he basically got a legendary animal summon yeah um basically became like god of adam whatever you want to you wanna call it? Um, I'ma just search up MHA ball. Yep, just came back. Um, ah, yes. So, um, just oh yeah, I'm on that missed. <laughs> I think. Now, for Aoyama, he has been shooting. Constantly shooting uh, his uh, budding team. So, yeah. And uh, he has gained immunity to his, uh, to his uh, weakness. So, yeah. And as for Minetta, he has gone tower. <laughs> yes, he has gone tower. He's now... Um, your average height and he looks more stylish so yeah um so basically they all uh thanked him so yeah they um by the way they trained for a uh, and i forgot ojiro somehow yes ojiro Oh, Sato too, bro. Oh my god. Tokoyami, bro. Damn, three people. That's sad. Ojiro, he has uh, evolved his tail. It's basically like superhuman strength, his tail. And he has uh, upped his martial arts. For Sato, he basically has a... Uh, um, he basically... Um, up, um, he doesn't have to eat like a whole pack. He can just taste like a grain of sugar and he can transform into his buff form. Uh, for Tokuyami, he doesn't have a bird head no more. Um, he looks like a normal person. And he can control shadows, basically. And he still has dark shadow, but he can control shadows. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, they trained for two days straight, 48 hours straight, no break, no, 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 nothing. So they all went back to their home, super tired as hell. Oh, yes, Todoroki, um, his planes evolved. They're not, like, they're the same color, but they're hotter. As for his ice, um, he has been spamming it, so uh, it's, like, as cold as Aokiji's ice, which is extremely cold is like bad is mad cold um he has reached absolute zero so yeah oh that is good okay 
now. Yep, they have done their training. They're all good to go. Now we go back to the next day. At UA, Izuku just goes home. All the boys, you know, they go with him. They all walk together, you know. They all look mad. They look buffered. All of them. And uh, they're just walking beside Izuku, you know. They're looking stylish. Now, they enter class. They sit silently. They no talking. Not at all, bro. And the girls, they notice the changes in the boys, and they're shocked. Especially Mireta's transform, uh, transformation, you know? So, yeah. And now, uh, the boys just went, it won't go in that one corner. Aizawa st uh, stands up, and the boys, they just go to the uh, seats. Aizawa explains the USJ. And they'll go in the uh, in the bus. Mm, they just go in their normal outfit, by the way. So yeah. They go in the bus. After that, they arrive at the USJ. And uh, yeah, basically, you no, know, they're talking. You know, Kirishima notices. You know. No, Izuku notices something's about to happen, and uh, Izuku's like, "Boys, assemble!" And uh, all the the boys of class one stop talking, and they just all go uh, beside Izuku and uh, in front of the class, they jump down the stairs uh, beside Izuku, and they all have all the quirks activated, and uh, they're like, "Boss, what is happening?" And uh, he's like. Some villains will be coming through. We'll take care of them. Aizawa, you fight with us. The rest of the girls, stay back. And Aizawa's about to reply, but Izuku, he sees the determined look in Izuku's face and he does so. And uh, Izuku's like, stay behind, teach. We got all that. We got we got this. And uh, Aizawa nods because he th trusts Izuku. I don't know why, but he does. Basically, the villains, they come through a portal, and I was always shocked that Izuku was telling the truth, you know, even though he expected it. And uh, he's like, Kaminari, um, use a lightning. Uh, you go and use your lightning to um, knock them out. Kirishima, just do, uh, you just knock them out with your punches. Um, as for you, Ayama, just aim them with your lasers. We need all the people who can uh, um, go at long distance, help us. I'll just try to shoot them with the, my blast breath. Bakugo, use your explosions. Tokuyami, go in their shadows and and uh, um, box them. I guess. Mirena, just uh, throw your balls and electrocute them. Shoto, burn and freeze them. Let's go, go, go. And no, they all do that, you know. And they get the villains. They get cleared in a few minutes. And um, as for Shigaraki, he's just mad at like super mad. And uh, he's about to, uh, he just basically summons the Nomu. And no, the class hasn't been directed anywhere because he could just put a, just has observation. So he basically knocked out Kurigui, but he Kurigui woke up and he summoned the Nomu basically. The Nomu was going on a rampage, but Izuku, Izuku, then Izuku he was like, all of you guys stay back. This one's dangerous. And they all not. And uh, he's like, Todoroki, freeze its legs. We need it in place. And Todoroki does so. And uh, Izuku just transforms. And he blasts breaths. Uh, the no and they obliterates it. Gone. It's, it's gone completely. There's nothing left of it. And uh, he's like, it was not human anyway, so it's fine. I guess our job is done here. And uh, Izuku is about to go for uh, the rest, but they just teleport away. And by the rest, I mean Shikaraki and uh, Kirby. And yeah, they went away. They went away. And uh, Izuku is like, hmm, 
Good job, boys. Looks like you all have evolved a lot later, for the past two days. I'm proud of all of you. And uh, they all salute and uh, they're like, thank you, boss. Uh, thank you, Izuku. It was all because of you. And, uh, you know, he smiles and they just go back. And Aizawa and uh, the girls, they're shocked. Uh, uh, they're really shocked. Really, really shocked. To see what they just saw. And Aizawa, he's like, Hmm, Izuku. You might have to teach me your ways. And uh, Izuku is like, I sure will. And uh, now they laugh and they just uh, call you away. Uh, basically, you mean that he just goes super fast to you away. And he gets all the people, all the people that were here in canon, he brings them, because he has done uh, some strange training too, so yeah. And when I say fast, he's like Flash, basically, but for the blue trail, I guess. He brings the people, all the villains are injured and knocked out, I guess. They're all sent in the hospital, to, and, uh, into prison, and yeah. The UA was just impressed with the, with how Class A, One A handled all that, and uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this video. Um, I'm gonna end it here. I really hope you all, you, all you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you really didn't enjoy it, like I actually didn't enjoy it, just tell me what you didn't enjoy about it, or you can just tell me what you'd like to see in the future. Just improvements, you know? Just don't hate on me, please, okay? Uh, if you don't like the video, it's fine. Just tell me what you didn't like, and we're good. Um, please share with your friends so that this channel can grow. We're already at 61 subs, and I'm really happy about that. My channel has grown a lot in the past few months, and I'm, re I'm really uh, happy of that, you know? Thank you all for that. Uh, so, peace out and bye-bye. Uh,